this video, we're going to go over Babylonian editions. So, Babylonian edition. And this is also known as cuneiform. So cuneiform example one. Alright, so the first thing we need is two numbers, so let's get our two numbers here. So we want to add that, and we want to add it to this number right here. Let's put two of these up top. Alright, so whenever you add Babylon numbers, you want to start on the right with the smallest place column and work your way to the left. So whenever we look at this, let's look at our ones place column first. Here we have six ones, and here we have eight ones. We can only have up to nine different symbols in the ones place column. So let's take out, let's see, let's use a different color for this. Let's take out these six and these three and replace that with a tens place symbol. And that leaves us with five in the ones place. So our number will contain a five in the ones place. All right, let's move on to the next area of this. We now have a total of four symbols over here three over here and four over here. Makes a total of eight symbols for the tens place. But we have a max of symbols for the tens place, we can only have five. So let's take out these four and take out that one and we'll change that into a ones place. So we have a extra ones place, but now if you think about it, that's really not a ones place, it's the same symbol, but it stands for 60. And we are left with these 30 right here. So we'll write our 30. And then we need our, we'll say that equals 60. We need to add that in. So our final number is going to be this right here. So final number. that so this is our final number 